Hey there, film fans. Welcome back to Is It Still Good, where we revisit classic films to see if they stand the test of time. Today, we're driving into the action-packed roller coaster of romance and crime, the 1993 film True Romance. Mean, surly, nasty, rude. Some rock and roll, living fast, dying young, leaving a good-looking corpse. Directed by Tony Scott, True Romance boasts a stacked cast featuring the likes of Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette, Gary Oldman, and Samuel L. Jackson, just to name a few. But really sets this film apart is its masterful writing from Quentin Tarantino. This was in the beginning of his career. He didn't direct it, but he wrote it. And it really shows in the dialogue. You must have thought it was white boy day. <laughs> yeah. It ain't white boy day, is it? Oh man, it ain't white boy day. <laughs> his knack for crafting razor sharp dialogue is on full display here injecting each character with personality and depth. Who could ever forget that unforgettable scene between Christopher Walken and Dennis Hopper, one of my favorites in cinema history, just awesome. And Tony Scott knew enough just to hang back. He lit him well, gave him a couple of static shots, and just let us really, like, marinate in the num-nums of Quentin's dialogue and Mr. Hopper and Walken's incredible acting chops. Do you know who I am, Mr. Wally? I give up. Who are you? The Antichrist. You got me in a vendetta kind of mood. You tell the angels in heaven you never seen evil so singularly personified as you did in the face of the man who killed you. I love that scene. It's tense and riveting, and it's etched into cinematic history. Very, very famous scene. Now, let's talk about the director, Tony Scott. He's known for dynamic visual stylings, and he's got a knack for storytelling, but Scott brings a gritty yet stylish edge to true romance. The violence is very visceral, and his direction keeps the adrenaline pumping from start to finish. None of this bullshit is necessary. I'm just trying to lend a girl a helping hand. I really, really think it's cool. This movie ramps up, it flows nicely. Gary Oldman is insane as the pimp Drexel. I think his name is Drexel in it. And you really see shades of like, um, you can see like Dracula sometimes like he yelled a few times and you can kind of like sense Dracula which was shot right before this I believe I think that was 90 didn't Bram Stoker's Dracula come out in 92 correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but either way you can sort of see Gary Oldman's characters such as like you know um his character from Leon the Professional I told you Benny bring me everyone what do you mean everyone Bram Stoker's Dracula. You do see shades of each if you look closely. Pretty neat for a character actor. All right, you've heard all the praise. So what's my verdict? What number score do I give True Romance? Let me try to sell you one of my books and we'll be right back. Okay, so after careful consideration, I'm giving True Romance a very high 9.3 out of 10. It's a very rare rating for me, anything above a 9, but I really believe this film truly deserves it. My date loved this movie. She almost didn't like it in the beginning, it was a little much for her, and then as we kept watching it, it just got better and better, and it was really funny the next day she asked to watch it again, which was really cute. So it's a great movie, even for new people. You know, even if this isn't a genre of yours or you're squeamish with the violence or whatever, the romance of this movie still kind of cuts through everything. When really there's some, you know, underlying things you gotta kind of look at. I mean, they both kill a bunch of people. I like the cameo from Val Kilmer as Elvis. It's really cool. It doesn't show his face, but I just like it how Clarence is like a little off and he talks to Elvis when he's nervous. It's kind of what he gains strength from. I think that's really cool. Both Clarence and Alabama go through big changes to get to the end here, but they do have, spoiler, obviously, a uh, happy ending. And I think it's really cute. Would you like to go get some pie with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love some pie. The thing that kind of sucks is they kind of lose a lot of people along the way. I'm sure there's going to be some emotional scars long term from that, but they make it out of the story alive. 
and that's what's important. They still have each other. You know, they even uh, breed and, and have a little offspring, so that's cute too. I appreciate True Romance a great deal, and I haven't seen it in years. I just remember it as being awesome. I was scrolling through a ton of movies on Plex, and I can never figure out what to watch for the channel, and as soon as I saw it, I had to review this movie for the channel. I knew you guys would want to hear my view on this, and I want to hear yours. Let me know in the comments what you think of True Romance, and when's the last time you saw it? That's really important. That's kind of like your homework for the week. Like, go watch it, maybe come back to this video and report back to me. It's kind of the thing. A lot of times I get comments, you know, from people with opinions on these films when they haven't seen them in a decade or better. Things do change over time, and I will tell you, I'm very happy to report, True Romance is timeless, it's awesome, it's a lot of fun. I personally had a great time with it, start to finish. With it makes us practically related. It was just a cute movie, it stays with you, you remember some of the scenes later on, and really, what could you ask for in a film? I think this movie really delivers, so thank you Tony Scott for directing this, and Quentin Tarantino for watching 10 trillion movies to get that dialogue so tight. Anyway, I appreciate you folks tuning in, and I'll catch you next time, right here on Is It Still Good? Your part, eggplant. <laughs>